Let's send one dash for writing linear equations and in this particular instruction write an equation in slope intercept form this is slope intercept form m which is the slope and then b which is the y intercept so they are given you the slope so all you need to do is just write y equal to um, x. m here 3 3x now to get b using substitution this is how you do it so from this point right here, the first point for x value, second point for y value. So we have y here negative 2 is equal to 3. And then you times with uh, time with x, your x in this case is 0. So times 0 and then you plus b in this form. So y equal to mx plus b. So when you do this calculation, you will see that b is equal to negative 2. So to write a complete answer, y equal to 3x minus 2. Okay? Now for number 2, you write down y equal to um, x. Um, right here is negative 6 over 5 and then x. Now waiting for the b, using the same style, you're using substitution. So in this case, uh, your y is 8. So you have 8 right here is equal to negative 6 over 5 x so x right now is 0 so you plus b so this one becomes 0 so b equal to 8 so plus 8 number 3 y equal to negative 2 x now solve for solve for y do the same uh, solve for solve for b so the first number here is uh, so this is negative 3 is for the x value and 14 is for the y value. So you will have by this form 14 is equal to negative 2 times with x which is negative 3 and then you plus b like this. So you have 14 equal to negative 6 or negative 2 times negative 3 going to be 6 plus b. Then you solve for b. You have 14 minus 6 equal to b. So that gives you b is equal to 8. So you have it implies that b equal to 8. 14 minus 6 become 8. So plus 8 again. So b the same value. Now for number 3. Number 3, y is equal to, you have 3 over 5x and then waiting for the b value all you need to do is seal again substitution negative 6 for x negative 8 for y so that negative 8 is equal to 3 over 5 x in this case it's going to be negative 6 so you have negative 6 and then you plus with b to solve the problem you have negative 8 is equal to negative 18 over 5 u plus b now to find b value b is equal to negative 8 when you transport this one to the other side become positive so positive 18 over 5 let me solve this part for you to find b value you will have 18 18 over 5 and then you minus 8 that will give you a negative 22 negative 22 over 5 so b in this case is a negative 22 over 5 Okay, now let's continue to number four. Still, let's follow the instruction that said write, write an equation that can just define how much Carmen earn each week, and then how much will she earn the week that she delivers 300 pamphlets. All right, now first of all, write equation. So, if write equation, let me read it first base okay with the base salary which is uh, thirty five dollars that for base salary and zero point seventeen dollars for every pamphlet so you have a zero point seventeen for every so let me put p as a number of pamphlets all right so to write this one in a uh, slope intercept form let's say p uh let's say well let's say c is the cost or you can let's say uh 
See, we're working with this Lobonese formula that represents x as a number of template, and y is the how much you will earn, which means the total, the total payment that you will earn in that week. So equal to 35 plus 35 is the base salary plus every template she deliver. So y equal to 0.17x plus 35. All right, that's for one answer, right in the equation. Now to find how much if she deliver 300 pamphlets, which means 300 is the x value. So to do so, you will have 0 0.17 times multiply. So we have y equal to, you will have a y equal to three, uh, 35 plus with 0 0.17 multiplied by 300. Let me do this part for you. 0 0.17 you times this by 300 and then you plus with 35 that will give you $86. Okay, for that week she will earn $86. Let's continue. Okay. Now, the other section, write an equation in slope in the subform, all right, the same, same idea, slope in the subform, let me rewrite the form for you again, y, y equal to um, x plus b, but in this particular session, section, we do not have the m, we do not have the slope, unlike the previous one, you have m already, right, but now you're missing the m and still missing the slope, so let, before we, uh, Continue to write the equation. Let's find slope first. Now let me write down y equal to y equal to y equal y equal. Now let me work on this. So to find the well, slope y slope formula y uh, m equal to y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub one. That's our formula. Now for number five, let's get the slope first. To get the slope. So you have a y2, in this case negative 4, minus 12. And then x2 minus 2, minus, minus 4, or minus, minus 4 become plus 4. Up here you will have this as negative 16 over 2, or you have negative 8. So this is going to be a negative 8x. And then let's find the b value. Now to find b value, you're using substitution. So y equal to negative 8x. Now, you can use either point of this, it's up to you. But for me, I use smaller number to do. I will use the second point here. So I will have y negative 4 is equal to negative 8 times x, which is negative 2, then plus b. Okay? So... After that, just solve the problem, do the math. 8, negative 8 times negative 2, you have 16 plus b. So this is to find b by u, negative 4, transpose 16 to the other side, become 9 minus 16, equal to b. So it implies that b is equal to negative 20. So this is minus 20. Right now for number six, let's find the slope first. So m is equal to y2, which is 2.8, minus y1, which is 0 0.6, over x1, 1.1, minus x2, which is 5.5. Okay, let's work on this together. So we'll have 2.8 minus 0 0.6. That will give you a 2.2. 2.2 and then you have 1.1 minus 5.5 that gives you a negative 4.4 .4. so when you use 2.2 device or simplify by that will give you negative one half so negative half so not one half negative uh, yeah, negative one half so you have this one a negative 1 over 2x now y equal to negative 1 over 2x and then let's find the value for b 
in this case, you're using any point you want to. Well, I will use second point again. So, y two point eight is equal to negative one over two x, which is one point one, and then plus b. So you have two point eight is equal to negative one point one over two. When I transpose to the other side, it becomes this plus b. When I transpose to the other side, it will be a two point eight plus one point one over two equal to b. So you have one point one over two, and then you plus the two point eight. That will give you three point thirty five. So it implies that b is equal to three point thirty five. That will be our answer. Negative one over two x plus three point thirty five. Now this problem, you do the same thing. Well, let me. Uh, I will not continue to do this part for you, but let me just uh, help you finding the slope first. So slope is equal to y sub two, which is twelve, minus y sub one, which is minus sixteen, become plus sixteen, over x sub two, which is negative twenty nine minus x sub 1 which is negative 25 it becomes plus 25 so you have 20 28 over it's going to be 4 ne yeah, negative 4 I'm sorry so it will give you this one as negative 12 no negative 7 sorry not 12 my mistake I was thinking of divide by 2 so it should be 14. Okay, so this will be negative 7x. And to find, value, uh, to find the b value, you just using substitution like I did in previous number for you. Okay? Okay, now let's go to our next section. Write an equation in slope on the sub form for the line that satisfies each set of conditions. Alright. And understand the question first. Okay, they give us a line perpendicular. Uh, we need to find a new line which is perpendicular to this given line and passing through this point. So when two lines are, par are perpendicular, the product of their slope is equal to negative one, or in other words. You, you just uh, inverse this slope, and then you also inverse the sign. So if this become if if this is pos negative, it become positive, and you inverse it, then you're gonna it's gonna be positive one over two. So let me write this one down first. So y equal to positive one over two x. Now, once you have this, to find the value of the b, you just do the same thing like our previous number. Well, let me just do this part for you then. So, y is 2, in this case, is equal to 1 over 2, and x, which is 4, and then you plus b. So, you have 2, and then multiply this together, 4 over 2 become 2, you plus b. So, it implies that b is equal to... 2 and you minus 2, 0. So in other words, plus 0 or just leave it like this. And for this number, you also inverse the sign, negative, and you also inverse the uh, the uh, the slope of this line. So minus 1 over 4, x. And then after that, let's find the value of b for this section. So, y in this case, this is 2, is equal to 1, negative 1 over 4, and then x, which is 10, and plus b. You have 2 equal to negative 10 over 4, plus b, or you have 2 is equal to negative 5 over 2, plus b. So to get b value, b it implies b equal to two plus 
5 over 2. 5 over 2, which is uh, 2 and a half. So you can have this as 4 and a half. So you to write the answer down, this is, could be 4 and a half. 4, 1 over 2, or you can say 8 over 9. Oh, no, so even 9 over 8, I'm sorry. Oh, 9, 9 over 2. 9 over 2, yes. So the right complete answer this is going to be plus 9 over 2. That's for the line perpendicular to this given line and passing through this point. Now, this number is parallel. So parallel is very easy. I mean, you don't have to invert, or not, you don't need to inverse this, uh, this, uh, this uh, slope of the given line. So all you need to do is just write y equal to 4 over 3x because when two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. So when you write like this, the same slope, now you work for b value. So y in this case is negative 6 is equal to 4 over 3 and then x also negative 6 and u plus b. And work on this, you have negative 6 is equal to, if you multiply this together, 24 I think you're going to have 8, so negative 8. So 24 divided 3, 8 negative, so negative 8, plus b. So it implies that b is equal to, this is uh, negative 6. When you transport x to an 8 to the other side, become positive 8. So you have negative 6 plus, you have negative 6, and you plus 8. That will give you 2. So b here is 2. Now, so that... For number 10, number 10 you write down y equal to negative 1 over 2x first because you don't check anything with this one since the lines are parallel. So when they, they are parallel, they have the same slope. Once you write like this, that work for b value. So you have 0 for the y is equal to negative 1 over 2 and x value will be 12 plus b. So 0 equal to, now you have 12 negative 12 over 2, you have negative 6, plus b from that, it implies that x of b is equal to, transfer to the other side, becomes 6, so this one plus 6. Now let's go to word problem. Number 11 first. Julio, buy a used car for 5,900, monthly expense for the car, which include insurance, maintenance, and gas, Average $180 per month. Find right? an equation that represents the, the total of buying and owning the car for X month. Alright, so every month, every month he paid this much. So $180 for every month. We don't know how many months that he paid. So then this X for the number of months. And he originally paid $5,900 for the car. So to find all the costs, including the uh, the maintenance and gas, with the original price of the car, this is how it looked like. So to write in a complete equation, y represents the price, all the price together, and then this is the rate of change here, 180x. Remember to pay for this, plus the original price you pay for the car. Now for Number 12, the sale of a sandwich store increased approximately linearly okay. So it seems like we have the so wait, wait, during the first five years of business. All right, so it seems like that we have a rate of change right here, or we call it a slope. So you have 11,600, uh, 600,000 minus 52. Thousand, and you divide this one. The first five years, so you have five minus one. Let me do this part. So you have eleven thousand six hundred thousand. So eleven thousand eleven. Sorry, one hundred and sixteen thousand. All right. I'm sorry. I make a mistake on this. So let me correct myself. So you have eleven thousand. 116,000 minus 52,000 minus 52,000 that will give you 64,000 
and you divide this by 4, that will give you about 16,000. So 16,000 for each year. So to write this, let me write this one down. Y is equal to 16,000. That's the rate of change. Now let's find the B value, mean the base value. So to find this, let me write this one in the form so that we can easily do it. So you have y equal to 16,000 x and u plus b. So you can use either point you want to use. Well, our first point, let me write this one down. Our first point, you have a... Let me draw this one out first so that you will not get confused. Our first point, you have x for 1 and then... Fifty-two thousand dollars, and point number two, you have five years, and then one hundred and sixteen thousand. So you can use either point, but I would prefer this point. Fifty-two thousand. So therefore, I will use y, which is in this case five hundred of fifty-two thousand is equal to sixteen thousand times by 1 plus b. Now to find b value, use 52,000 minus 16,000. That will give you 36,000. Let me do this. It's part minus 16,000. Okay, that will give you 36,000. So, this will be 36,000. Now to write our complete answer, let me fill it in. So you have y equal to 16,000 x and then plus 36,000. Determine, okay, the right equation. Determine what sale will be then of 12 years or so of 12 years. So x is the number of year. So now you have 12 years. So once you have this equation, all you need to do using 12 for substitution. So to do this problem, let me continue in this section. So to find the, the other answer, all you need to do, you y equal to 16,000, and then you time by 12 as year. So you times the 12, and then you plus 36,000. Let's do this part by yourself. Okay? So let me repeat for the other number for up to 12 years how much they will have. So yeah, this is how you do it 16,000 times by 12 and plus with 36,000. You will have your final answer and your one second question, a second answer to the questions. Number 13. For number 13, it was uh, in 2005, it was estimated that there were three, th uh, 300 northern right whales in existence. In a specific area, a population of north right whales is expected to decline or right by 25 whales each generation. This is going to be going down, so it seems like our rate of change here in every generation. So X represents each generation. So in, in every 25 whale decline by 25 whales. So therefore it's a minus. And originally they have 300 whales. So in this case I just wanted to write the equation. So therefore to write this complete equation that represents this as the number of way will be in existence after certain generation. We do not know how many generation is it. That's why we represent x as the number of generation, and then we have 30, uh, 300 ways originally. That's our complete form of the equation. Now our last number, number fourteen. Well, for number fourteen, see as you can see. The equation already given to you. All you need to do is just simplify this into slope-intercept form. 
So again, slope in the form y equal to um, x plus b. Make sure you have y, you have b, m, x, and you have b value. Let's work on this equation. So uh, y equal to, if you multiply this inside, you have 55 multiplied by 23 that will give you 1265. And so this is the minus, minus, you multiply this inside 55x. So to write this one in slope in the sub form, you have y equal to minus 55x, you plus with 12 or 1265. That's our first answer. Right now, to find our second answer, question B, find the numbers of words you have left to type up 20 minutes. 20 minutes, let me read for, okay, x is the number of minutes, so it seems like we have x value already. So all you need to do, you use this equation, the same equation, but right now you uh, substitute x with 20. So you will have 1265 minus 55 times 20. So you work on this one first. When you get the answer of this, you get this number minus this number. So work on this first. So I will give you the final answer. You will have six, uh, 165 words left after 20 minutes.